Eastern Continental Divide. is the devil's whip. <laughs> I think we're on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a great turn. It's downhill. Like a downhill U-turn. And this is all slightly downhill, not too much. Coming too hot. And these front brakes, man. They need to rebuild the caliper or something. No brakes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, buddy. This is fun. <laughs> ah! before today is I was not able to lean the way that I've wanted to. Because I didn't trust that tire. I'm still getting used to this bike. Uh, I've had it for eight days now. So I don't fully trust leaning with it yet. But I'll get to that point. I mean, I have no problem leaning the bike over, but as far as my body leaning with it, uh, I could be definitely leaning my body further with it. Oh my god, this is insane. This is probably one of the best roads I've ever ridden, hands down. I mean, the Rattler is fun, but I think that this actually might be funner. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Alright, that was by far the funnest section of road I've ever ridden. That little tiny, little three or four little loops. A little twist. Holy shit. And I could only imagine if I got some soft tires. Because these are, these are like medium. 
medium or medium hard, I'm not sure. They're good for the rain though, and it rains so much out here, I just figured. Plus it's the tire that was already on the on the front and it had really good tread left, so instead of buying two tires, I was like, hey, fuck it. I'll get one that's good in the rain. I'd love to ride in the rain. It says it gets pretty good grip. But uh, that'll be a nice when I throw on like some Pirelli Sport Demons. Right not till next summer. Cycles, and we have to pay like five bucks. It's so fun, it should be illegal. That was cool. Right when I stopped breaking, I steered and it seemed to tip over like much faster uh, if I kind of steer immediately after letting off the brakes. Holy moly! <laughs> <laughs> that was a serious turn. Luckily I was able to just slow down and just cruise through it. This bike gets pretty low, it's pretty awesome. Right, let's see where we are on the map. Although I'm pretty sure I just ride this to the end. Six point eight miles to some lake road, Lake Tokahoma Road. Rerouting? What you talking about? No rerouting, dude. I'm still on the same route. What are you doing, bro? I'm in airplane mode. <laughs> you can't reroute me. The cell phone's not connected using offline maps. Super good that Google Maps works offline. I just plotted this whole course at my house last night. And then I hit start this morning. Oh man, today has been an incredible ride so far. And we still have so much more riding to go. This is just the appetizer, the Devil's Whip. This isn't really a super well-known one. Um, I think the Diamondback and the Rattler are a lot more well-known. Especially the Rattler. Well, I don't really know about the Diamondback. I mean, there's a good amount of videos of it on YouTube though.
roads are perfect. Like there's no gravel or sand or like potholes or weird bumps and shit. And maybe a little on that bridge, but I never fly over bridges. Man, this road is super well maintained. I'm really impressed. Looks okay. My knee fucking hurts, but it's it's good. 